In this video, I will show you how to use Android apps on your PC without an emulator. First, type Windows Feature in the Windows search bar. Click on it. Scroll down. Enable Windows Hypervisor Platform and Virtual Machine Platform. Click OK. Wait for the process to complete. Restart your computer to apply the changes. Now, open your web browser and search for Windows Subsystem for Android on GitHub. Click on the first link. Click on this WSA Builds hyperlink. Scroll down. Choose the correct file for your device type and Windows version. I will download the stable build for my Windows 11 64-bit. Click on the link. You will be redirected to this download page. Scroll down. Under the asset section, click on the first link to download the Windows subsystem for Android. Wait for the download to complete. Once the file is downloaded, locate it by clicking on the folder icon. Extract the zip file using WinRAR. Copy the extracted file. And paste it into the documents folder. Rename the folder as WSA. Double click to open the folder. Double click again to open it further. Scroll down. Right click on the run.bat file and select run as administrator. If you encounter a security pop up like this, click on more info. Then choose run anyway. Wait for the installation process to complete. If you get this pop-up, just check the box and click on Continue. Close this window. Now in the Windows search bar, type Windows Subsystem. Open it. Go to Advanced Settings. Enable Developer Mode. If you see a pop-up like this, click Allow. Click the down arrow next to Window Focus and select Independent. Click the down arrow next to Experimental Features and enable Share User Folders. Close the Settings window. In the Windows search bar, type Play Store. Open it. Sign in with your Gmail credentials. Search for the app you want to run. Click Install. Wait for the installation process to complete. Click Open. Wait for the app to load.
as you can see, it's working perfectly. Now you can use your favorite mobile apps on your computer. Feel free to reach out if you encounter any issues during the process. If this video helps you out, please leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. If you need further assistance, consider hiring a professional using the link in this video below.